You are here, probably finding it difficult to master the art of paraphrasing. You don't have to worry. Here are strategies and six easy steps on how to paraphrase without plagiarizing. If this is the first time you're watching one of my explainers, I'm Dr. D, a global health practitioner and academic. Firstly, what is paraphrasing? A paraphrase is a rewriting of a specific passage from someone else. It is written in your own words without changing the original meaning or removing any information. What is plagiarism? Plagiarism occurs when you use the words, thoughts or ideas of someone else to support your claim and don't properly cite them as a source. This may be done intentionally by trying to take credit for someone else's work or unintentionally by failing to clearly cite the source an idea or claim comes from. Many students and writers get into trouble because of plagiarism or not knowing how to paraphrase correctly. Let's go through six useful steps on how to paraphrase without plagiarism. Step number one, read the original text carefully. This step requires you to read the text several times to become familiar with the context and check the meaning of terms you do not understand. Step number two, note down the key concepts. After reading the original text several times, take note of the key ideas. Step number three, write your version of the text without looking at the original text. Put aside the original text so you can't see it. Paraphrase your version of the text from memory. Ensure you're not copying out the text word for word. Step number four, compare your version against the original text. This step is very important. Make sure you have not mistakenly written the same words from the original passage again. Also ensure that you cross-check not to misinterpret the original meaning from the writer. Step number five, rephrase phrases that are identical from the original passage. In this, you can change words and sentence structure, but ensure you keep the original meaning from the source intact. Finally, step number six, Cite your source using the reference system that your essay or paper requires. I will talk about referencing systems such as APA in another video. Referencing your work shows that you have acknowledged the fact that the paraphrased ideas have come from someone else, which is the original source. Here is an example. Every year, thousands of tourists visit Banana Island. 60% of these tourists are Europeans. Banana Island is one of the most beautiful and historical places in Sierra Leone. There are a couple of options to get over to Banana Island. You can either go there as an individual or as a group, or better still, find a service provider to take you there. From the city to Kent, the main takeoff point to Banana Island is 40 minutes drive and a 30 minute boat ride. Even though it is not one of the cheapest places, you will certainly get value for your money. According to Chris, Banana Island is visited by thousands of tourists every year, and a high percentage of these visitors are Europeans. It is considered to be one of the most attractive and historically important places in Sierra Leone. To visit Banana Island, you have various options. You could consider getting a tour service provider, and you can visit as a group or even as an individual. A journey from the city to Banana Island is approximately an hour and 10 minutes. Although going there is expensive, you'll find it is money well spent. That's it. You can now paraphrase well without having any fear of plagiarism. I've linked below to a guide I found really useful when learning how to paraphrase. Do go ahead and check it out. Finally, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you.